Dead Zoners, you are here, and as promised, welcome to our second Among Cat um, pre release pack opening and deck build. Uh, the last one, we didn't get a a um, masterpiece, though we did get a Liliana, and we did get uh, around $40 worth of cards, and a very good, um, almost broken green black deck. Um, now let's. Get that masterpiece though. All right. So again, we didn't play the um, a pre-release just so we can open the packs for you, and we're opening a pre-release kit and two additional booster packs because that's what the average of what you get on a pre-release. Um, I guess you could say we could open four because you could open a good deck, but we only have access to two. So yeah, let's open the two bonus packs first. So. It doesn't uh, get in the way of our decks. And let's see if we get that masterpiece. Let's go straight to the red, shall we? Okay, um, irrigated farm. Um, cycling lands are around $5, I believe. Uh, let's see what else we get. Just mediocre cards, nothing really special. I guess nothing's really special if you already go to the red part, right? I mean, nothing else is gonna be, but. You know, we value your time. Uh, so we do that. Uh, the last last time we got two foil uh, lands out of the out of the first two packs, and I mean full art lands. Commit to memory for to cast, but target to us. spell or non land permanent at all. So library memory after match, search your place for hand and library into your screen, then draw seven cards. Uh, I guess just some sort of combo there. Uh, okay, so not too bad. There is that the the um, five dollar card, which means we're only aiming to get like twenty five dollars more. Um, is commit to memory worth anything? Nah, it's worth a dollar. Um, and again, these are for, for, from our price back, so I'm not really, we didn't really look through the comments and comments if there's anything good there. Um, what is it? These aside from now. So, uh, commit is actually a dollar, so if you want to be exact, it's that's around six, and irrigated form is around six actually, so that's seven dollars worth at the moment. So, we need 23 more to break even. Ooh, and again the same die. I wonder if this is the same die for all the packs. Uh, it's really good. We got the same color in the first one. Uh, yeah, like the translucent glittery die. Uh, if it is the same die for everything, I guess that's still good. I mean, right? Oh, another irrigated farm. Oh, I guess. I guess if we end up in blue white, and this is really awesome. Oh no, because that's uh, that's a price back, so we don't get to use it. But anyway, um, I'm guessing this is a ten dollar card, so we are at seventeen, and we only need to make up thirteen dollars worth. So I'm guessing we're doing that, right? Plus, hopefully, we end up with a extra free piece, a invocation. Let's do it. Pinned. All right. Huh, that's kind of weird. It's kind of damage. Oh, but it's just a token in there. But still. All right. Let's go straight for the rare. Even mind sensor. I believe this is worth a lot. I will check back later. And sort by color. Because we wanna. Because we're gonna build the deck after after we. So we're opening packs now, and we're making or. Um, looking at how much we get, but then, uh, but afterwards we are making the deck. So I'm just making sure everything is ordered before we do that. We took a tree trample, and all your other creatures have trampled. That's awesome. And I'm not gonna go red green just because of that, or actually I might, but we'll see. Um, we do have great incentive to go green. Ooh, foil cartouche of knowledge. Put the foil there. Um, Blood land. Some extra value. One in every four packs. 
And Vigeance Intervention is rare. Skidin's Interventions enter the battlefield. Choose a card name. Your opponent can cast spells with the chosen name and prevent all damage that will be dealt to you and permanently controlled by sources of the chosen name. So, best case, it's bad removal. I guess you can still play it uh, against a god. Oh, that's the art. Because, you know, indestructible gods, but they don't do damage anymore, but they make them jump blockers. I guess, worst case, it could be um, removal. Um, even Mind Sensor, actually, also not that good. I mean, that's still a 3 mana to 1 flyer that prevents your opponent from searching, but, well, with Flash, but otherwise, it doesn't do too much. So, our rares, actually, not that good at the moment. Uh, uncommons as well. But we're just two packs in. Uh, four more. Um, I'm sure we'll end up with something. I'm putting the uh, aftermath cards as uh, under the color of the first card just because it's easier. And, uh, didn't have time to think about that. Alright. Beast token. <laughs> oh, this is a trial of beast. Okay. So, um, whoop. Gideon of the trials. So, we got Liliana for the first pack. We get, now we get the Gideon on the second one. I guess we're playing white. Um, if you have, don't know what this does, three mana for a tree. Royalty, planeswalker. Until your next turn, prevent all damage, target, permanent. Oh, sorry. Until your next turn, prevent all damage, target, permanent would do. Zero, it became it becomes a 4-4 four, four human, indestructible, the usual thing that Gideon does. And another zero, you get an emblem with as long as you control Gideon plays all you can't lose the game. And your opponents can't win the game. So I will still need to find a way to win the game and then get rid of him and not lose the game at the same time. So I don't I mean I'm not sure how usable that is uh, in limited. But the um 4-4 four, four thing and the prevent all damage thing and he the fact that you have a planeswalker in limited that's always almost playable in this case i think it is and since all of our rares are in that color we might actually end up there might not sure yet but uh, at least we made up the pack already that's like a 20 uh, like 40 dollar card at the moment almost 50 i think uh, we'll get you the exact numbers once we lay out the rares after we open all the packs. After we open the master fee piece that's in this pack. No, never to return. Uh, white, black is good, I guess. Put the rares in one pile for now. Uh, you kind of want to end up blue black to, to, to use the. Uh, I mean blue white too so to be able to use the lamp you don't have to create a increase like this card like in a two color deck that's not heavy on specific mana colors I'd be using that a lot why did I put white there mm -hmm. yep I want to wait, use white because of the Gideon but I haven't really looked at the bottom the bottom part of the Kirby yet uh, I mean if you still I mean if you don't um, get anything too good uh, you still don't use it. Drake Haven, green mana. Whenever you cycle or discard the card you may pay one if you do put a 2-2 blue Drake token with flying into the valve. I guess this is good if you I mean this is a good build around card definitely getting a 2 true Drake whenever you cycle or discard is really good and limited the investment of three three mana initially but yeah there are cards to do it uh, maybe we can make a build around deck for that uh, let's see and it is in the color that we want to force uh, at this point you've already if you're just playing pre-release you've already won because you've got in the kitchen anyway you might want to make you want to might want to uh, Give it a try, but I mean, still, we're still playing to win, so let's see what else we get. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What was that? Ten. So, no, no foil because that's ten commons. So, unfortunately, no masterpiece for us today. We did get masterpieces for the 
last two sets so we can't be too greedy we're, we're just opening like four or five um, four or five um, pre-release kits you can have them all the time not to feed oh i didn't realize it like, we had this in the earlier deck i didn't realize it was a rare that's why it's it's good it's a uh, at the very least it's three, uh, three mana three three and it has an aftermath that draws you cards for four mana it's a very good card to open wise i didn't know that was in the set but yeah oop it's rare not worth too much so let me show you the rares uh, well let me put aside the, the comments first show you the rares again and let's look at value i know we've made money because of the gideon but let's find out how much okay so gideon is worth 50 irrigated before the irrigated farm is 10 this is five this is four let's say a dollar for everything now that's 70 dollars worth of cards for a um 30 dollar priority so yeah i mean um 20 dollars up not bad but uh, we're also here to make the deck so let's get to it Okay, so we uh, unfortunately we didn't have enough playables in white to actually run the Gideon. Um, uh, best case was a blue white um, Drake Haven deck. Even then, it wasn't. I mean, it, it had a team. It had a team going for it, but it didn't have anything else. Um, what, what we ended up uh, with though is a green uh, blue Drake Haven deck. Um, Drake Haven is whenever you cycle or discard the card, you may pay one if you do create a 2 2 blue Drake token with flying. So, what we're trying to do is muck up the board early. We have your ancient crabs for that uh, three mana, one fives, um, uh, your normal three, uh, three cost spells that trigger off of cycling. Um, uh, Scribe of the Mindful is a 2 2 that. Turn circuit into some sorcery in case you return all the cards you cycle. Uh, a three mana three four that potentially, I mean three mana um, two three I guess for most of the time. But still, your mouth to feed which creates a three three and draws you cards because again we just wanna draw cards and get to to the big creatures or get um, or muck up the board. Uh, and uh, do some Drake Haven shenanigans. So, a counter spell because we didn't really, we really don't have because because we're cycling most of the time anyway. So, the counter spells normally are bad main deck in limited. But if you have a lot of cycling cards, you have the option to counter or cycle. It makes it um, playable ish. So yeah, um, um, cyclers here, uh, sensor, blood waters, and. Center to Deliverance. The Center to Deliverance not really as playable in the previous sets where artifacts are mainstream, but it does cycle for one. So it potentially two mana for a Drake. Two two Drake, not mm, not that bad. And we had this light um, cartouche trials um, theme going on. So we have the blue cartouche, which it which does whenever cartouche of knowledge enters the battle we draw a card and your creature gets plus one plus one and flying so you, you don't want to return that uh, too much i guess i mean you want to return it you want to draw a card but you got stitch for two again it's not that big of a payoff but cartouche of strength is which is three mana for a fight card whenever cartouche of strength enters the battle you may have enchanted creature fight target creature and opponent controls and it also gives it minus uh it gives it plus one plus one and have trample i mean if you get can get that, that going um if you like for example um maybe your three three or even one of the drakes i guess well i guess the drake's not that big but you know if you could get that going uh and put the back with trials we could get something here um Otherwise, it's not that big of a card, really. I mean, it. I guess it works in in a way that you could make uh, something like a giant, the giant uh, spider, into a three-five, which is a better blocker, and get rid of a 
uh, four three maybe under uh, during the same turn. I guess it does that. Uh, yeah, somewhat. Um, then trials and uh, draws you three cards and discard the card and returns the cartouche. So four mana for two cards plus um, bouncing a cartouche. I guess that's kind of worth it. Uh, again, this is not really this is really not the best deck, but we didn't really have. Uh, much going on for us like um we could have went with uh, one like the red deck or the black deck but you'd, you'd see something that that's not that you'd normally see anyway in a regular trap or a regular sealed deck so i didn't feel that it was um, something worth showing it might be a little bit better than this but i mean it's cool to have something that's centric on something like a drake Heyman. um well, cause you have like four or oh, maybe five cards. Uh, oh, not just five. You have trials. Yeah, you have a lot of cards that uh, trigger Drake Haven. So it's kind of fun to make a build around uh, of the deck. Uh, I mean, a build around type of deck you don't normally see. Um, Evolving Wilds. Maybe, maybe actually you don't run it. Don't really need it in a two color deck. Filtering is not really that important in limited, or at least just one. Cause I mean, drawing that when you're, top, you're you need to top deck lands is not that good. Uh, Cradle of the Accursed is something I, I would always play one up in a two color deck that's not mana heavy. On this deck, um, maybe I think about it because of the two blue from Ancient Crab. But we're gonna be playing more blue, I guess. So it's fine. Uh, other than that, we have your 4 drop, 4 to reach, a Shimmer Scale Drake, which is 5 mana for a 3 4 with cycle if you ever um, need to cycle early. Otherwise, you can just wait for 15 for a 3 4 flying. Doesn't mean it's not the best card, but it's not bad either. Um, 5 mana for a 5 5. Uh, this, is, this is just something that would benefit highly from your cartouche. Well, even the Drake actually does that, so you know, just the cards, some cards that um, let you do something while um, we're waiting for payoff cards. Or actually, they can also like the the uh, Colossal Feed also marks up the ground really good while you make your Drakes. Um, another good card is your Angler Drake, which is your six mana four for flyer with the Mana War effect. So of course you. Uh, you mount something with that's big with the cartouche on it or just you know just mount something really big that you want off the board for a bit otherwise it's a 4 for flyer which is always big um and remember we're trying to win in the air so that's also that's you know that's always something and if we oh actually we have more cyclers here if, if we get to it uh, i mean if we don't get to play them but if we do seven mana seven sevens it can't be blocked by two or less they're always good i get a cartouche in them and then eight eight tramplers that kill your biggest guy i guess eight, eight, eight. of course you're gonna kill your biggest guy except for the gods so i mean uh, normally i wouldn't play a seven mana seven seven it does nothing maybe i'd play one if i had to but you know, because of the cycling, e even without the Drake Haven, it's it makes it a little bit playable. If you draw it really, really, really early, then you want to uh, pitch it to Drake Haven. Otherwise, if you draw it with six, maybe five mana, you'd want to wait till uh, turn five to do it. So, so uh, basically, it's not too complicated of a deck. It does. Uh, it is a fun deck. Fun deck though with the Drake Haven build around, and it's a little bit better than. The, the mediocre cards that we pulled i mean we did pull that very dick gideon and 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 the rares in white but unfortunately we had like what six cards in white which uh really didn't make it playable and we we, go, we went with three colors and i really don't want to go three colors in in um limited without any fixing so we end up with this deck i mean you might think it's bad, but I think it's something it's good. I mean, aside from your drakes um, and your other flyers, you get to or to something really big in the late game and make it fly in for a lot of damage. I think it's gonna like this might not be a 4-0 deck, uh, but at least it's gonna win you a couple of games, maybe 3-1, or it could still 4-0 if you're if you're lucky enough. Uh, who knows? I haven't really tried the meta that much, but yeah, I mean. Uh, let me think. Uh, let me know what you think about the deck. Um, comment in the comment section and 
um, unfortunately this is the last pre-release kit we're opening for the set uh, next week we do have our mega unboxing so you know check back for that we're, we're gonna upload that on Friday on the release date um, so that's it uh, JR here um, saying goodbye